The Food and Drugs Authority has cautioned women against... Well, we'll bring you that story shortly. The Food and Drugs Authority has cautioned women against the use of breast enhancing creams and injectables. This comes after Lab News reports of widespread use of such products by senior high school students as well as elderly women with slim shapes. Substances ranging from cosmetics, pills and injectables are widely sold undercover. Lab firms Nanaya Ojima uh, has been investigating demand and supply of the products in Kumasi and has come through with this report. I love women with big breasts. They are very attractive. I prefer very big breasts. Those that shake when the body moves. The small, small ones. Eh? Nice ones. They don't like the big ones. We like the small ones. Eh? Sellers beckon at targeted persons and secretly introduce the product to them. Many cosmetic sellers my sources had directed me to denied keeping stock of them, probably out of suspicion because I'm a man. Eventually, one of them led me to another who had me wait for somebody to escort me to yet a third person. To my utter surprise, I found myself in a boutique run by a man. He beckons me to get closer inside the shop where he pulls up a handbag. Out of it came a product with the brand name Pretty curry breast lifting fast cream with picture of a white woman displaying her breast embossed on it. It sells at 35 cities per unit, which I purchased. The gentleman brought out other products, including pills. He claims work on butt and breast to make them heavier. <laughs> As he continued, I expressed interest in joining the business. He pledged to assist me find my way into a business he says is very lucrative. The Food and Drugs Authority says it has neither approved nor is aware of any product on the market. Ashanti Region Head Nora Nakite Labi says the authority will follow up on the leads to rid the market of them. I would like to say that no, these products have not been registered by the Food and Drugs Authority. Currently, we don't have any products on our register that says that uh, it, can, it can enlarge your breast or your backside or that's your butt or any other organ of your body. No, we have not registered any product like that. We don't know of these products. You brought us this. We are going to investigate and find out who is distributing this and make sure that the law deals with the person. People who admit using the product will not grant an interview, although they claim to have seen some results. Founder of Breast Care International, Dr. Beatrice Riafe Ade, reveals the negative effects of using such products. We don't like what we have, and we don't appreciate what we have. That is the reason why a woman will go the extra mile to go and look for something only to please the man. Now, the, um, a lot of our women work in the sun. So we sweat a lot at the place where the breasts are. So if a woman is sweating and applies this, the chances are that the pores in the skin are open and so things, chemicals, will easily enter through the pores. Whether or not the FDA is able to flush these products out of the market will surely depend on the extent at which dealers and users protect their interest. Experts are predicting a surge in cases of breast cancer recorded annually. If this worrying trend is not halted, probably their predictions may come to pass. Reporting for Joy News, Nanaya Ojima, Kumasi.